Ryan. Absolutely brilliant delivery. Went past the outside edge. He was playing at the line of the delivery, but just enough movement to clip that off stump. What a brilliant start for Vishwa Fernando in the over. Morning, Ramis. Morning, Roshan. Yeah, cracker of a ball. Yeah, beautifully bowled that away movement, castling the left-hander. Yeah, richly deserves everything. The uh, celebrations and the scalp. Gone for five, Shan Masood, and it's ten for one. So it's got to come to the party for Pakistan. Vishwa Fernando is on fire. Well, the captain's gone. What an over this is turning out to be. Azhar Ali's poor run continues. Oh, played all round it. The crooked angle of the bat not helping Azhar Ali to play that ball properly. Gone for not Pakistan in a lot of bother against the new ball and against Fernando. Ten for two. Well, Pakistan's uh, best batsman, possibly Bab Razam, in uh, fine form. Had an excellent tour of Australia, brilliant hundred in the first test. Now that has to be close. It has to be close. It is given. That is a huge wicket. Now they're going to have a word. But that was a really good delivery. Well, the time's up. Oh, he's referred it almost at the last minute, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, doesn't appear to be any bat. Dredge coming up. Appears to be clear. Gap between bat and pad and a flat line. Ball tracking coming up. Pitching outside off. Impact is in line and wickets hidden. I'm going to go back to Bruce on field. I'm going to ask you to stay with your original decision. Thank yes, you. Sri Lanka's ploy working and the ploy was to bowl the full length to Abidali. And Lahiru Kumara has uh, delivered it for them. Abidali goes for 38. Pakistan 65 for 3. Yeah! Gone, 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 gone. Great bowling. Turn and bounce. Dipped on the batsman. He was looking to come forward. He dipped on him. And then the perfect turn and bounce and an easy stumping. That's a big wicket. He was on target. Shortened the length. He saw the batsman coming out of the crease. It spun just enough to beat the outside edge of Barbara Azam and beautifully disguised. And that's a terrific blow. He's got a good stride in, but it looks very, very straight now. Pakistan, they have only one review left. Three to go. Time's up. He'll have to go. He's late. Oh, he's given it. Uh, doesn't appear to be any bat, but we'll confirm that with the use of Ultra Edge, please. And there's a gap between bat and ball. Flat line. Satisfied there is no bat. Can we go on to ball tracking? Ball tracking. Pitching outside off. Impact in line and wickets hidden. Gonna go back to Jewel. You're gonna stay with your original decision. Uh, you're on screen now. Make your signal. So the decision stays. Pakistan have blown another review. Both reviews lost and on the stroke of tea, Haris Sohel, who just didn't look convincing at all, trapped in front. And Boldenia gets his man, Sohel's gone for nine, Pakistan 167 for five. Well, 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 just like this. Now, you know, watching the highlights package, this is straight after T. This is Kamara with another one, and he's disturbed the furniture again. Oh, brilliant. Oh, top of middle, not top of off. Just a little bit of jag back. 
Pakistan have lost their sixth. It's Mohamed Rizwan gone for four. 172 for six. Oh, it's a big ease. Hit on there, yeah, I think so. Can't go upstairs. This one, yeah, look very adjacent. And he's on a hat trip because they don't have a review anyway. And this is a beauty. Lairu Kumara, what's he had for tea? Oh, that's plum. That's plum. Even if they had another review, that was a gone out of two. Really good from Lairu Kumara. Yasir Shah, first ball duck. 172 for seven. Yeah! It's a beauty, an absolute beauty. And it does find the outside edge because there is that flight, a nice little bit of purchase. And a bus is out of here. Dananjay De Silva in the slips. Sri Lanka opt to use him when the spinners bowl. Nice, easy catch. Brilliant from Ambuldenia. Not so from Mohamed Abbas who walks back for naught. Pakistan, 179 for eight. That's gone high, down to fine leg. Will it be taken? It is! It is! Lahiru Kumara has got the fourth. Asad Shafiq is distraught. The focus was off him because they'd allowed him an easy passage to just rotate the strike, get to the other end. And this was a top edge, well collected by the man in the deep. Vishwa was the fielder, Asad Shafiq's innings comes to an end, 63 batted well, 185 for 9. Down the wicket, it's gone high, it's really high. Angelo Matthews is the fieldsman, takes it, good catch, very good catch. Never easy running back, I can tell you, it was falling over his shoulder. He had to judge it well and he did that extremely well. Well, I think in the end... Shine Afridi also felt the need to just get on with it. No point in defending when you know that you'll eventually get a good one. So get Sri Lanka in on a pitch where they might get good response before the end play. But terrific effort by Sri Lanka. So Pakistan was shot out for 191 in the end. At one stage, they were 167 for four. So a collapse of monumental proportions there. 50s for Babar Azam and Asad Shafiq. But in the end, they failed to go over 200. Sri Lanka's bowling effort, Fernando at the top, 2 for 31 for him. At the pick of the bowlers were Lahiru Kumara, 4 for 49. But the spinner in Lasit Embuldinia was very impressive too, 